Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Super Arrow with updated farming setup. So if you're Super Arrow player or perhaps idle gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then hit that like button as well. Right then guys, so in just a second I'll show you a skill setup which allows you to farm over 1500 mobs per minute. And bear in mind I'm farming in a stage 14-4 which is now currently my top stage. I'm actually deliberately lowered myself from the max stage. What I mean by that is a 14-4 currently where I am, I can go actually all the way to a 15-4. But I mentioned that in the previous videos that where you want to force yourself to be on these lower stages, because then if you head into adventure, you tap onto treasure dungeon, daily mine or chicken hand these actual maps are dependent on your top stage and obviously this is where the difficulty will be set so if i go and jump now into a 15-4 i can guarantee i will go into these very adventures and i will again struggle to kill monsters but as it stands i'm actually very powerful in the area i'm farming and i will continue growing my strength and only then progress further so the 1500 is guaranteed in the area and as you see i'm actually not one hitting all the monsters so if you get yourself in a low stage you'll be able to squeeze even more kills in order to check it obviously you hit now into all and a low power mode the latest update gives you not only counted on resources which we had previously but now gives you these monster kills I would then obviously focus on just going and checking it for the very first minute get it run for 5 10 20 minutes and take an average the last bit of advice I want to give you, if you want to squeeze these numbers, you perhaps should seriously consider a single play channel. There is obviously great benefits played with other players, but again, if your map is being laggy or your game is crashing, this is something which might slow down your progress. So I recently been all the time grinding on a single play channel. This is obviously adding all the resources which you would normally farm in an online mode, gives you average and extra stats and the numbers uh, related to your guild uh, score so nothing to worry about but that allows me actually for my game to run more efficient and obviously heading straight into a skills that's all you've been waiting for i'm running here a little bit of the hybrid build but my build actually is entire magical so i wouldn't change it obviously this is only a farming mode i'm still using different setup for different aspects of the game and actually your magical skills are one of the most powerful in the game so therefore you will be still dealing a tons and tons of damage you shouldn't really go for a hybrid build keep keep it on a magic and use these very skills so obviously i'm gonna go through all these skills um one by one and if you do not own any of these skills hit me in the comment section and i'll be able to advise obviously we need to consider that i have unlocked actually all of the skills in the game so you got 31 on the mains and 126 on the sub so i got no problem of creating any build currently as it stands so i'm starting here with a lighting arrow as your main skill then obviously you go in with the auto ballista and double shot which allows you then to cast two ballistas at once we increase in attack speed for the obvious reasons to actually get it casted as much as possible increasing arrow range so you can actually start hitting monsters beyond where you can see them on the map and a cluster bomb from a fire skill is one of these great additional damage deal then we're using a maneuvering attack here just for a better mobility across the map increasing arrow speed and then everything else is a four smite attacks and then finally we go in with a wind arrow one of the brand new added skills and we go in here full physical so we add in additional projectiles obviously to cover more area on the map itself and then finally top it up with a reflect and track and as you see obviously with the graphics on the screen itself this is where you know a lot of things happening on a, on a screen one of these skill setups allows you obviously to bounce back and forth especially useful for me when i do not one shot monsters whilst the other ones gives you mobility and finally a lighting arrow actually shots arrows all the way where i cannot even see these very projectiles and allows you to have these additional kills so that will be it guys obviously go and test it out hit me in the comment section if you like it and if there is anything else i can do to help you i'll definitely go and respond on your comments and i will see you guys in the next video thank you very much for watching and take care